Hello and welcome back to Sleeping Dogs. So, Ways had it pretty rough. Um, turns out his childhood rival, I suppose, Dog Eyes, went and killed his friends at the wedding. Who would have thought? And we kicked his ass last time. Got that fedora right off his stupid face. Let's change into something more comfortable. The classic look. Classy. And I don't know why we don't have the United Gamer t-shirt. Maybe it's a special shirt. Let's check. <laughs> wow, when did we get that? It's too classy for way. Too classy for way. Cold water cannot fix that. Sure can't. There we go. Looking good. So now we got a text from the chairman to meet him at the hospital. So I wonder what he would want with Wei. Hmm. Well, let's go and find out. Easy now. We don't want to alert the cops. Initiation. I wonder why my phone sometimes does that. It'll randomly come on, say, hey, punk, look at me, open me up and see what I want, and then I'll open it up, and nothing will be on it. Like, no notification, no nothing. Craziness. What happened to my waypoint? Jeez. Stupid, clunky waypoint system. Alright. Sometimes this, this game's waypoint system just gets lost and like, it turns off automatically for some reason. Because it's dumb. Look, see, it's doing it again. Maybe I have to look, it wants me to look at the reports. We don't care about the reports. We know what happened. We were there. Heavy traffic, as per usual in Hong Kong. Looks like there's another race down there. We're not going to do that, though. We got priorities. So I got some feedback on Magical Poppin, and it seems like a lot of you are very interested in me continuing to play that game. And that's exciting because, man, I really like that game. So, I will be adding something new to the schedule because new things are cool. And every Thursday and Saturday, I will upload a special episode of Magical Poppin. Which means less time for me to do other things, but more videos, so yay. Tradition calls for us to select a temporary chairman until you are well, uncle. A man who would continue as you would wish if they were brazen enough to attack a wedding. We have to assume 18K will be coming after us. I know that you are right. Way, my boy. Uncle, you're okay. Thanks to you. Sister Jiang told me about the troubles between you and Big Smile Lee here. You must stop this fight at once. We must be united against our true enemies. 
Yes, of course, Uncle Po. Good. Pakmak, see to it that way is formally initiated. He's been a loyal foot soldier to the Sun Han Ji. It's time to make him a red paw. Your initiation is young Leong. He has been selling to schoolgirls and was ordered to stop. He switched to the 18K instead. Make an example of him. Thank you. I will. If any of your people have not been properly initiated, bring them with you. Uncle, we still need to decide who will lead us. What about you, Pakmak? You are my greatest friend. You know my wishes better than anyone. Would you not take my place? No, Uncle. I, I am your advisor. I cannot lead in your place. So, if not you, who then? <clears throat> Chu Chin Sao. He is your true nephew, your blood, Legacy Toyan. Who better to preserve your wishes and keep the family together? Hmm. Chu Chen, can you handle this responsibility? Temporary chairman? Yes, Uncle. I am ready and grateful for the opportunity. Park Mark, see that it is done. Oh, big news. Dragon Van, what are you doing? What did I tell you about mating with other cars? Come on, this taxi probably has a family. Dragon Van. Uh, oh, excuse me, taxi. Our drag I'm very sorry about this. Dragon Van just gets a little out of control. You know how it is. Okay, so we are finally getting initiated into Sunani Red Pole. All of our fucking donut deliveries have finally paid off. Jackie, this way. Where are you? Getting a massage, man. Let me tell you, the girls here are... Listen, I got some news. <laughs> I'm on my way over. We got an errand to run. See you in a few minutes. Wei is obviously very enthused about this promotion. And why wouldn't he be? He's worked hard for it. He's worked his way up through the ranks of the Sun Yi. Fought many a battle in his venture to climb to the top. And he's finally making some progress. But, is everyone happy with this? Raymond? Hmm. We'll find out. <laughs> Jackie! You're gonna love this. What's going on, Wei? Well, you're about to become a full member of the Sun on Yi. Fuck me! Are you sure? 100%. Yeah, baby! <laughs> I fucking did it! Yeah! Oh, don't worry about it, my man. It'll be your turn soon. Jackie, they're making me a red pole. What? Holy shit, Way! Holy fucking shit! Well, Jackie, the dream finally comes true. No shit! Hey, Way, don't think I don't appreciate it. I know it wouldn't have been possible without you. No problem, Jackie. Man, you want to get a massage before we go? My treat. Come on, man. Best way to celebrate. You won't believe what these girls can do. Yeah, well, our face is quite sore from the beatings we've taken. So, we'll get a nice, relaxing face massage. A date? Look, I just need my face massaged. Oh, special? All right. Maybe they got some cucumbers. So what's this errand? It's part of our initiation. You know this guy? Holy shit! Young is one of us, oh, Wei. Like Came up in old prosperity just like you and me. He's been dealing the kid. They ordered him to stop a couple of times. Okay. Did he tell you much about the ceremony? Just that we're in it. What brothers after that? Man, son on ye, brothers. Yeah. Hey. What? I went out with you made the other day. Finally asked her out, huh? So how'd it go? Man, I made her laugh so hard. I read that somewhere. You make a girl laugh, she'll fall in love with you. I think if you're funny, she'll fall for you. That's what he just said. Wait, yeah. 
Come on, you just said that. Hey, where's Young? This must be the guy. We'll teach him to to deal dojins to children. Okay, I don't really know what was going on there, but we figured it out. And we're probably better off for it. Oh no. <laughs> oh, nice. We pushed the button on time. And we're in dragon mode, and we're kicking some ass. Take that, fat guy. Bull cut. Out of the fight already. He never does last that long, though. Let's be honest here. Alright. This must be the guy. And he is pulling out all the stops. Jumping over our kicks. Bobbing and weaving. But will it be enough to stop Wei from taking him out? Ooh, he just lost all his teeth. Up. Up. Uh, it's getting close. He can take quite a beating, can he? I've never seen such resilience, such a strong competitive fighter. But will it be enough to stop Wei Shin from ultimately achieving victory? Oh, that was a pretty crazy flying roundhouse kick. The way isn't phased. All right, we're just gonna counter. There we go. Seems he is vulnerable after counters. Oh, god damn it! Young cannot be hurt until the henchmen have been defeated. Jackie, why do you have to be such a dumbass? Why can't you handle the fat guy? And let me handle the boss. It's not that hard. Hey, we need to talk to you. Uncle Poe sent us. Yeah, I really should have noticed that that thing was there. But, you know, it's been a long day. Take a breath, Jackie. Breathe, man. Did you see the look in the guy's eyes? I didn't expect it to be like that. I always, always thought about how it looked. I didn't know how it made me feel, you know? I can feel it in my stomach. Shit, way. Calm down. Look, it'll wear off, okay? Jackie, feeling some regrets about some of the decisions he's made in his life. Maybe being a son on E isn't as glamorous as he initially thought. 
Fuck orange cones. You guys know how I feel about orange cones. Is it done? It's done. Good, good. Brothers, from today forward, your lives will be forever changed. Because today you are my brothers. We're bound to each other by blood, sworn to protect each other to the death if necessary. With our brotherhood comes duty. You will obey our leader in all things, and you will show your brothers respect always. With our brotherhood comes power. The sun on ye does not die. The sun on ye does not forget. It rewards its sons with wealth, status, and honor. It protects their businesses and their families. It cares for their children as if they were their own. Our brotherhood pays our enemies with pain, suffering, and death. And none suffers more than a traitor. Betray your brothers, and you will die a thousand times over, slowly, in the dark. The sun on ye and the gods themselves will burn your soul from your body and crush the ashes with our heels. There are 32 oaths. With them, you are bound together. With them, you become Sun on Yi. Are you ready to begin? We did it. Me and you, chat. We just became Sun on Yi. We got 100,000 Hong Kong bucks. And a houseboat. Holy shit. Oh, and a Raymond. Look at, look, chat. Look what we got to deal with. I read your report. I'm flattered. Was it a slow day or something? Pendry's very impressed. I'm not going to lie. I'm sort of impressed, too. He wants you to dig around, see what you can find on Sunny Woe. Says it's a priority. I read about him. I mean, he reps entertainers, dabbles in porn with allegedly some human trafficking mixed in. Well, why go after him? He's not Sun On Yi. To bring down the Sun On Yi, we have to take down the people who support them, cut off their revenue sources, dismantle the network. This is how we hit them where it hurts. Sunny's revenue stream is massive, and a lot of it flows to Sun On Yi. I'll see what I can do, Raymond. By the way, you hear anything about Dog Eyes? He seems to have disappeared. Haven't heard a thing. Oh, and before I forget, Jackie Ma, we're taking him in. Jackie? From what I read in your reports, he'll be a good source of info, and it won't be hard to make him talk. We'll need you to set him up no, for no, us. No, that, that makes no sense. He's nobody. He's a criminal, Way. You're a cop. I hate to be a broken record, but it sounds like you're getting attached. I'm not getting attached. I'm just... I'm not a fucking idiot, okay? He's part of my cover. He brought me in. He's the one who vouched for me. And now you're so high up, you don't need him. He's outlived his usefulness, so we're bringing him in. I'm taking this up with Pendrew. This came from Pendrew. Taking him in accomplishes nothing, and it makes my job harder. I'm not doing it. You don't have a choice. Right? It's a direct order. Yeah? Direct order? Well, that's an order you can shove directly up your ass, Raymond. Way not happy about the decisions from the higher ups. We want the the like Winston. Open your eyes, Raymond. I am Winston now. That's what worries me, Way. You're one of them. Cool. New house. We got a sweet punching bag. With the kanji for Scrub Lord all over it. It's not actually the kanji for Scrub Lord. Way! Flushing the toilet this time. That or it's so new, he hasn't had time to use it yet. Well, the man has developed some character, so maybe he does flush the toilet nowadays. Wait, why do you why do you have a hat right there? That we can't even wear. What's the point of that way? Got another TV. Slightly smaller than the one in our apartment. And some decorative flowers and pots with another kanji that I can't read. This is a pretty nice pad. Wouldn't mind living in a place like this myself. 
Who knows those houseboats were so nice? They probably aren't in real life. This man keeps coming into my store, never buys anything, only wants to talk about food. Wouldn't he just wants to talk? Pati ho wa! You come on! All the friends are for the people! Somebody help! It looks like there's a birthday cake over there. Let's make a wish. I wish I had more health. Didn't work. So now, we want to take out Sunny Woe. A distributor of porn and possibly drugs. I don't remember for sure though. Bottom line is, it's pretty important. Oh, wait, I see. I was supposed to call Tang. Stay on that wiretap. I expect Tang to be doing an emergency kidney transplant at any minute. He already got the call. But wait, they picked up the donor too. It's Calvin, your friend, Calvin. Oh shit! I have to warn him. They're saying he's in Central. They're already after him. But wait. You can't let him see you. The only way you'd know he's in trouble is if you're a cop. We are not gonna let them take Calvin. He is like the fucking best character in this game. Take Duke instead. Take Duke. We got this heart-pounding disco music in the background. Signifying that our friend is in peril. Oh, wow. That is not how you go about saving a friend way. But it was an impressive feat nonetheless. You made a car do a front flip. Didn't land properly, but... Regardless, he pulled it off. Ah, he was listening to the same music we were. He has good tastes. Get away for the holidays. Hong Kong. A place for coach tours, holidays, and honeymoons. Hmm. So if you're interested in coach tours, holidays, or honeymoons, you should call that number, chat. Tell me how the story goes in the comment section below. This is a pretty long drive from where we were. I was probably supposed to do this a long time ago. It's only 500 meters away now, so we'll get there soon. <laughs> Poor guy. He went flying. There's no way he lived. Apparently, hitting that man caused property damage. We're not gonna let that fuck get away with our friend.
You're done, you son of a bitch. A kidnapper not giving a shit about the fact that uh, his car just got hijacked. Not even putting up any resistance. Just accepting the fact that he got his ass jacked. Wow, what a rhyme. <laughs> it's probably a good thing, too, because Wei is pretty hostile when it comes to taking care of his buddy Calvin. So we're just going to leave the car with the guy that we hijacked? What the fuck? Wait, I gotta question your your uh what is that? Oh, it's another suitcase. I gotta question your uh strategies sometimes, Way. They just seem bad. Okay, I got him. Pull in Dr. Sang. You sure? Tragic story of modern medicine, Inspector. Not every patient makes it. Way. I'm leaving this guy in the parking structure off Quark Street in Central. Make sure you send someone to let Calvin out of that trunk. Oh, I see. He's probably Dr. dead. Sang. Fuck that. We're not doing that. The guy gives urban myths a bad name. He'll get 10 to 20 in maximum security. When you consider that all his victims were triads, I wonder how long he'll actually serve. 18K won't be happy, but I'll personally sleep a lot better knowing he's not out there. Doesn't bring back your friend, but I think it's fair to call it justice. Yeah, sure. Whatever you say. Well, that'll be our episode for today. Probably a little shorter than usual. But... I have some things that I have to do today. So, I will see you guys next time. Hope you enjoyed the video.